Schneiderman. Does whatever a spider can. Look out. Here comes Schneiderman. Welcome, guys, to another episode of Snyder Man. Um, today we have with us Lukey Dunstan, the rising star of the Saints. Thanks for joining us, mate. Thanks for having me, mate. Mate, we'll get into straight into it. A few questions from the fans from Facebook. This one's from Josh. Do you even lift? Uh, well, we all do. We, <laughs> we all have set programs, so uh, yes, I do. Just not very heavy. Uh, Jason, Harry, Stacey would like to know, do you ever walk around the house and smack your nose on things? <laughs> <laughs> oh... Yes, actually I do. I, if I um, if I like, open a door and try to sneak past it, I'll, I'll often hit it <laughs> on the on the side of the wall. So, yeah, I guess I do. Uh, Spencer White, 23, from the Saints, old Spencer White, would like to know what's your favourite colour? Red. <laughs> <laughs> now it's a good question because you're actually colour blind. So how do you know what red looks like? You don't, you can't tell the difference between red and brown. Or green. Or green. What other colours can't you see? Uh, blues and purples, pinks. Um, yellows and greens, they get mixed up. It's just a bit of everything. It's a bit of a nightmare. So can you tell the difference between a yellow and a red day game, night game of footy? Uh, only because I, yeah, well I can because I know, obviously, night game you use yellow footy, but yeah, I'll struggle. There you go. I used to freak out at school when someone asked for a red pencil and I'd like chuck them a brown one and they'd be like, what are you doing, mate? That's, and I'd be like, oh, f- <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, that's alright, we've got a few at the club that are. I think there's four of you boys that are colour blind And the captain's one of them, so That's alright, you can take that, won't you? Makes me feel better, yeah <laughs> Another one from Angus Kilgore Is being picked to go on Snyder, man, the greatest moment of your life? Um, now you got your own mic, yes <laughs> Yes <laughs> You're moving up in the world I've been trying for this for a while for my own mic, guys Now for everyone out there, just tell them a little bit where you grew up where you grew up, And, and what happened when you were a young fella Yeah, I grew up in Clare, which is a country town at two hours north of Adelaide in South Australia and uh, it's a small town of about 4,000 people around about so um, I moved there until I lived there sorry until I was in year 12 I moved down to Adelaide for year 12. And you're obviously one of our best you know rising stars at the moment is it trouble when you go home now you just walk down the street and people don't let you be? <laughs> no one knows who I am mate <laughs> I walk by and uh, no one bats an eyelid. Sure they do mate. Um, now tell me did you have a near-death experience growing up as a youngster? I think I had three. Share with us, please. I can't remember all three, but one I was uh, I was still in my nappy and we were we were at the beach. I was swimming with my two older brothers and a wave came in and sucked me out. And um, they both stood there and watched and, <laughs> and Dad, had to, Dad had to run and uh, save me and drag me back in by my nappy. And the second one I remember we were camping in um, in the hills somewhere and. I was sitting in the back of a ute and we are driving under a tree and a big branch, probably probably the height of this roof fell on, um, was heading straight for my head and luckily Dad again was sitting next to me and he stuck his arm out and cut all his arms so he saved my life twice and there was another one but yeah, I, I don't remember that. Just playing footy mate, you've got no respect for your life out there, you're a bit of a tough man. Um, tell us out there who's been your, one of your biggest influences or your mentors along the way and also at the Saints. <laughs> You've been pretty good, mate. Um, yeah, a few of the older guys like yourself and um, obviously Lenny, been my mentor has yeah been massive help. So beautiful. Now you're also, uh, as I said, a rising star for the club. Do you ever want to be captain of the Saints one day? Um, yeah. Oh, well, I wouldn't say no. Yeah. You were state captain for South Australia. Yeah. There you have it, guys. He's my tip for captain in about three years when Rui's done. Obviously, you're not the best-looking kid going around. Uh, your face has been through a pit. <laughs> Can you explain to us whatever happened to your nose, or has it just always been this big? <laughs> oh, too can. Oh, that. <laughs> it has always been reasonably large, but I'm going to blame it on my brother. We were playing, um, we used to call it balloon footy in the lounge room, and he smashed my face into the coffee table and knocked all my teeth out and broke my nose. So There's, a, there's your other near-death experience. I'm going to pin it on him, yeah. <laughs> Now, Sam Donnell actually tells me that um, you've got your own personal supply of Vaseline at home. <laughs> and you take a, a thing of Vas to every game. Now, what is that for? Um, I, yeah, I, I've got quite large thighs. <laughs> <laughs> I struggle with chafe. I do chafe. I've got scars on the inside of my, uh, my legs from chafing. And, yeah, I've been through a couple of tubs. <laughs> 
And obviously everyone out there, as you do say, you've got a lot of big features, big nose, big legs, big thighs. You're also a very strong little kid. You're probably one of the strongest kids I've ever seen come through. Um, is it true you started weights when you were five years old? <laughs> six. I was six. We've actually got proof of this here, guys. So we had a photo come through from, from his brother. He sent a nice little photo. Can you confirm or deny that is you? Yep, that's me. <laughs> Now, um, you know, a lot of boys do have their own playlists here in the gym and all that. Uh, tell us some of your favourite music. Um, I'm a Triple J man. Yeah, what's some of your favourite songs? Um, at the moment, Chet Faker's been alright. Um, I'm not going to sing it. <laughs> I'm not going to sing it for you. You've got to sing me a song though, mate. So what's a, a song you'd like to sing? Yeah, I used. Oh, this was a favourite growing up for me. It was um, Billy Ray Cyrus, Achy Breaky Heart. So... Jump, jump. Yeah, get some music, mate. We'll get into it. Tell my heart, my ache breaky heart, I just don't think you'd understand. <laughs> and if you tell my heart, my achy breaky heart, just blow <laughs> up and kill this man. <laughs> No, I'm done. Thanks, mate. No, that's fine. That was very good. <laughs> you clearly liked that as a kid, didn't you? Yeah, I've sung it a few times. So. <laughs> mate, thanks for joining us. Next Saints captain, guys. Look out for him. Thanks for your time. Well, there you go, guys. Lukey Dunstan. Hope you enjoyed that. As per usual, we let the contestant choose the next week. So, mate, we're going to choose two this week. Give us two blokes you'd like to see interviewed. Uh, David Armitage and Tom Curran. Beautiful. Well, there you go. That'll be about during the week. So, go the Saints. Schneider, man. Does whatever a spider can, look out, here comes Schneiderman. <laughs>